Hi there, this is Krista Moore and this is show number 106. I am in Fort Clinch State Park in Florida and we met some wonderful people just this morning so I asked them if they wouldn't mind if we did a quick interview so we could hear their story. Very inspiring. Um, one of my topics that I wanted to talk about was choice point and I mentioned that to you and it's where it's a time in your life when you have a big decision to make and you've got a choice. Do we do this or do we do that? And it sounds like you've had a choice point. So I want to introduce to you um, Mark and Kareen. And why don't you tell us your story? Your choice point. <laughs> Big choice point, like you said, was um, when we sold our home. I mean, we had uh, kind of felt we worked a lot and given a lot to our jobs and wanted to make some major changes. Um, so we decided to uh, hop in our van and sell our house and kind of travel around and check out the United States and um, honestly ride as many trails as we possibly could yeah. here and there and get to know other people, you know? Yeah, so what, what, what do you think was the big decision? Like other than, okay, we're going to sell our house. What was it behind that decision? Do you think was a, a major choice point? How about you? Uh, there has been a few people in our lives that were really close that have passed away mm -hmm. at a young age. And so it's been in our mind for years that we wanted to do something um, that allowed us to do more things that we like before we are too old. And yeah, so while we're healthy, right? Two years ago, we did a trip for three months in the van and we really enjoyed it and so we decided that we wanted to downsize we still want to have a property but a small home and enjoy experiences more than things yeah and i love that and i think a lot of people are kind of getting to that place in life maybe covid and last year did it for a lot of folks where you had more private still time to think about what is the choice point and can i do something different and life's too short and eddie and i are kind of in that same space, so I appreciate that. You said about trails. What, what are some hobbies or outdoor activities that you like? Uh, we're both avid mountain bikers. Okay. So, um, yeah, we like getting on trail and, and riding as often as possible. Oh, that's great. Um, and we both, we actually met on mountain bike trail, so um, it's kind of our passion and what we oh, enjoy to do. Oh, that's totally cool. I know some people that are really, really love that. Um, I, I, my best friend's son and his new wife love it and they're in arizona and they've got some beautiful places in sedona yeah, there are a lot of nice trails out yeah. west for sure and on the east coast and, yeah and even here so yeah. so are you looking to um make some decisions this year on where you're going to permanently live or are you just kind of going with the flow or what's working for you um so we're kind of bouncing around looking for a place that we feel we fit i guess um and not fit but like-minded people mm -hmm. that are into trails and outdoors um, so we're kind of checking out different areas to see what will work. Um, we're kind of focused on the, the North Carolina mountain area or Virginia mountain area right mm -hmm. now. Um, but who knows, you know, something else might come in and sway us differently. Yeah, you know? and you have family on the East Coast, I understand. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. See, which is part of the, a big, big part of the decision, and it was to come on the east side of the country mm -hmm. so we can be closer to family. Yeah. That, they're yeah. not getting any younger either. So. That's right. <laughs> yeah. um, one thing that I often think about is the people that are listening are, are at a point where they might be saying, gee, I want to do that. Like, I wish I could just stop working and go travel on, you know, in a van, sell my house. But they don't do, actually do it or take action on that. And they're probably wondering, well, like, how, how do you do it? Like, how do you give up a job and manage? Any, any words of wisdom on that? We're still trying to figure this out. We <laughs> haven't settled for a definitive uh, setup on that. Yeah. I can work remotely. What is your background? Uh, drafting for steel buildings. Oh, wow. That's so, unique, right? Yes, definitely <laughs> not common. Yeah, maybe Pittsburgh is where you need to be. <laughs> but you can do so much remotely these yeah, days. Yeah, I've, yeah. I've talked to a lot of people that have chosen this lifestyle, and they are working on the road. And the challenge is the Wi-Fi. You know, like right. Society. Looking for the internet That's service. Right. Yeah. <laughs> what about you? What are, What's some of the things that you enjoy in work? Um, 
So I enjoy being outside for yeah. sure. Work-wise though, I've pretty much always been in automotive. Mm -hmm. Started as a mechanic, uh, worked my way up to service manager. Yeah. Um, just put a lot of time into work and, and I kind of wanted a small break. So this is kind of what, yeah. what works. As far as um, taking the step to um, stop working, it's, I guess I always look at it that we can always go back. Mm -hmm. You know, if this doesn't work and we're just like, this is stressful, the money's not coming in, things aren't working, we can always stop and just, okay, let's step back into what we had before. I love that attitude. You, you know, know, let's just take a break, yeah. be still, we can always go back to it and yeah. really enjoy life like you have set yourself out to do. Yeah. So great to meet you. Thanks for being on my show. So I just want to say goodbye to everyone. And hopefully when you are confronted with a choice point in life, you can be inspired by folks like Mark and Corinne who have just done it. Talk to you soon. Thanks.